hello wonderful people welcome back once again to my channel if you are stopping by today by the way my name is Vetikem I do makeups here on this channel and if you like to stick around and be part of my family here please don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video so without further ado let's jump right into my video but if you like don't forget to thumbs up, share, and do all the beautiful things. So, so as you can tell from the title, today's makeup tutorial is about how to know the best translucent powder to set your concealer after you highlight. So if you are interested, let's dive right into the video. So my hair is clipped down. What I will do is to start with my eyeshadow. If you don't like to watch this part, you can just keep it, okay? So I'm starting off with Zoeva eyeshadow base as my primer for my eyeshadow. And I'm using Zoeva Concealer Buffer 142 to apply my eyeshadow base on, on my lid. Or you can use any brush anyway. Maybe if you are wondering what type of brush I'm using, that's the reason why. So I'll be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm going with my red ochre as my transition shade. Been a while since I did a cut crease tutorial on my channel. Before I used to do that a lot, but right now I do most of the time. So So I am done with one eye. I will just this eye off camera, put my lashes on and get right back to you guys. So guys, I'm done with the eyes. I have put my lashes on and what I'm about to do is go in with my foundation. If you're an OG on this channel, you probably know that this is my go-to foundation, L'Oreal. But if you're new, I guess you do not know, so I will still show you guys. I love this foundation brush from NYX. Believe me, it's so soft and it does the job really well. So for my concealer, I'm going to use a Production Concealer in C12.
And if you come to, I'm going to use black or pale foundation. But well, this is the part that you really clicked on this video, my translucent powder. The best translucent powder for black people or women of color. I would actually advise you when you are getting a translucent powder, one of the best translucent powder in the market right now is L'Oreal Mercier. I have tried some drugstore translucent powder and i have a few with me here which i will talk about and show you guys as well i would advise that if you cannot afford the l'oreal messier translucent powder you can opt for this very good translucent powder from essence it's for all type of shades all type of color but this one is purposely for deep skin people and i will also show a few powder on the screen for you to purchase you can get the makeup revolution translucent powder that is also cheap and that is also in the market or you can also get the sasha translucent powder and a few of them that is in the market that is purposely for black people and i also have this translucent powder that i normally use on my channel that is the benai banana powder if you are a dark person i wouldn't advise you that you get this translucent powder because it's purposely for fair people but for you to avoid flashbacks when you take a picture i would really advise you that you pay attention to the translucent powder that you use so if you're a dark person that more than me then i will actually ask you that you get the l'oreal messier translucent powder but if you are of the same color like me then you can get the benai banana powder always make sure that your setting powder is not really really bright for you not to get flashbacks when you take a picture and you can also get this powder from the drugstore, it's Maybelline. So let's just continue. And I'm going to set my concealer with the Benai Banana Powder. See that? See that glow? Guys, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you liked it and you learned something from it. See you again.